found on your on the first box will be the following plastic contains the um, squeegees the zip ties the uh, adhesion uh, enhancer and then the uh, MPPT solar charger module and a cascadia sticker so we set this aside for now okay also found on the uh, first box would be the protective vinyl film so you can unroll this and flatten it on a flat surface already okay found on the big box is the main solar panel so it's slightly flexible so um, but of course still gently handle it it's well packaged so it's well protected so together with the solar panel would be the uh, solar panel harness okay together with the kit is a very detailed uh, installation uh, manual with uh, colored images detailed step-by-step -step on, on how to install the panel and the uh, module and the protective film before everything else so we gotta clean the, the surface of the uh, hood first or the bonnet grime to make sure it's super clean so after cleaning it next step is to clean it with a uh, isopropyl alcohol just on the area where we're gonna stick the vinyl film so now we'll be doing a mock-up fitting of the uh, solar panel um, in this case with the Land Rover Discovery 3 it has provisions of the uh, wiper washers so we can use this as, as reference in uh, centering the uh, solar panel in the hood okay so what I'm doing here is just really making sure that both sides are even by using a measuring tape but for, for uh, easier installation with, with regards to the uh, discovery thing we're just using the wiper washers as a reference to center the uh, solar panel so we're using a masking tape once you're satisfied already with the location of the solar panel. So we use a masking tape to just give us markings on where the end of the solar panel will be. So when we put the vinyl film, we'll use this as a guide in centering it. Okay, so now we remove the uh, solar panel. So again, we clean it with isopropyl alcohol. Just, fine, just doing some final prep. As the next step would be the uh, installation of the prototype vinyl film already. Okay, so we're doing now the first step in uh, installing the vinyl wrap. So using a uh, soap sprayer, just a, uh, a drop of uh, dishwashing soap on a spray bottle will do. Just make sure you soak the whole surface. Okay, so by doing this, when we apply the uh, film uh, we can still move it around so with an extra set of hands uh, remove the uh, vinyl film okay as you remove it you ask someone to spray the other side with the uh, soap sprayer so be generous with it so when we apply it on the uh, hood so gently on the hood using your um, masking tape as your reference point and in this case, the uh, wiper washer as our guide to center the vinyl film. So when you're satisfied with the, with the location of the protective vinyl film, use the uh, squeegee that's uh, supplied in the kit and gently remove the excess soap. Just doing all the sides and all the corners like so. So do it gently so the, the vinyl film won't move anymore. So do all sides. So after using the squeegee, uh, just wipe uh, the vinyl film. Clean. After wiping, let it sit for about 15 minutes to let it dry. Okay, so once the vinyl film is uh, dry, we now get the uh, 3M adhesive enhancer, okay? Don't forget to use surgical gloves as it has a strong chemical uh, ingredient. So you apply this on the uh, edges uh, surrounding the vinyl film as that's where the uh, free end tape from the uh, solar panel will uh, stick. We'll start peeling off the uh, free end tape but just on the uh, starting and the end, on the ending it will be easier to peel off once 
to it's already on that hood. And that's your set of hands again. We place the main solar panel on the hood. Again, using the uh, wiper washer as a reference point. So we use also the masking tape that uh, we placed earlier. Okay, so once we're happy with the uh, location of the panel, make sure everything is centered flat before we start peeling off the uh, double-sided tape. Okay, again, once we're happy with the location of uh, the solar panel, we start peeling off the uh, double-sided tape. Once we're satisfied with the location, we now start pressing down the edges. So press it around. So once it's done, we can now go to uh, cabling the panel and connecting it to the uh, MPPT charger. We clean the surface first. Okay, with the supplied zip tie clips. So in my case, uh, I've decided to uh, put the cable on the uh, driver's side leading to the uh, MPPT charger. So what I'm sticking on now is the uh, zip tie locks that's supplied with the kit. So the cable should, uh, the cable's nice and, nice and neat. All right, so now grab your uh, MPPT solar charger. Find a, a suitable place for it. Um, preferably uh, on top of the air box. Just make sure it doesn't hit your foot. In my case, I found a uh, space on the driver's side. So, uh, from the uh, MPPT solar charger, just get the uh, long positive and negative uh, cable. Connect it also to the negative and positive of your main battery. Alright, so after connecting to your main or crank battery, you can already see the uh, MPPT charger light up. Okay. You'll see a yellow and a green blinking light. The yellow, if it's lit, that means your battery is okay. No error is uh, detected. As you can see here, there's a green light that's blinking, slowly blinking. So that means it's already accepting a uh, solar charge from uh, our workshop. Okay, so the faster the blink is, the faster uh, it's receiving uh, sunlight. So now we found a suitable spot for it. So in my case, it's on the driver's side. There's a big space here where uh, I can see the, uh, the light indicators right away. So you can uh, either use the uh, double-sided tape that's supplied in the underneath the uh, MPPT charger. Okay, and we're done. Okay, so I have installed a battery monitoring uh, app on my uh, Discovery 3. So as you can see the engine with the engine off the battery is still Receiving charge as it's uh, as you can see with the percentage. It's still climbing 13.3 There we go 13.37 So even with the car off your battery is getting tendered 